All right, guys, how y'all doing this evening? Real Housewives of Atlanta Reunion, part one. Yes, three parts to this shit, okay? Could we have summed it up in one motherfucking episode? Yes, Andy. Why you shading everybody and tell motherfuckers to get off their cell phones and where to get the dog food? You could have did an hour and a half, and we could have knocked this shit out one motherfucking show. Because it wasn't all that, okay? The ladies, okay. <laughs> I guess the color of the night was beige. Uh, brownish beige. Everybody was sitting pretty. Um, Sheree, I think she killed it for the night. My favorite was Sheree. She was wearing that motherfucking makeup and that flat lipstick. I'm sorry. Body banging and all. I think Sheree killed it for the night. Miss Candy st stood up in that mint green, and honey, she snatched <laughs> she snatched our motherfucking wigs because that hoe just had a baby. Her motherfucking waist is snatched. Shit, let me go breastfeed. If that's going to get some of these pounds off of me, <laughs> sign me up <laughs> on the dotted motherfucking line, okay? Somebody said, uh, Cynthia, looked like a flower or something. It looked like it was ready to unravel, be plucked, something like that. She looked okay, but I'm sorry, y'all. Sheree was beautiful. Kenya hasn't made, I mean, uh, that old crazy. Well, Nene, she hasn't made her interest yet, probably toward the end, because there's three parts to this shit. Um, who won the shade of the night? Andy did. Andy was the motherfucking shade queen of the night. He shaded the shit. He said, bitch, I know you ain't sitting over there texting. Tell Matt to get the motherfucking food out the cabinet to feed the dog, okay? Candy and Phaedra, they still have some unresolved issues. Will they ever resolve their issues? No. Um, Y'all just need to let their friendship go. I feel like Candy wanted to let go and let have on Shadra. Y'all named her motherfucking ass. And you should have. You should have. Kenya. <laughs> Bitch, you crazy. Bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> Kenya, your ass is crazy. You is kind of delusional, girl. She says she is the queen of the show. She brought motherfucking Kim on her platform. And, uh... Can you crazy, y'all? That's all I got to say. <laughs> Can you? You need to have a seat in the fuck section. I love you to death. And you was beautiful. And you that has extra thick. And you can't tell me that's just all your hair. Because if it is, bitch. What, you, well, it may be. She said her hair care products is going to be at CVS. I'm going to be checking. Because I need to put some in my weave. Y'all, new weave. New weave alert, y'all. New weave. <laughs> I got to go get me some. Candy looked like she wanted to whoop their motherfucking asses when they talked about Todd. Portia was barking like a... <laughs> Portia, bitch, you had shit going on this motherfucking season. You said you got to meet the baby. But other than that, you was defending Phaedra. I see y'all just in bonded like this. And you was coming for Kenya like 90 going north. Uh, Portia was the mouthpiece on this couch. This couch sat Kim, Shadra, Shadra, bitch. You is, you, y'all forgive me. I just don't like Phaedra no more. I used to like Phaedra, but Phaedra is, I don't know. Y'all, I got to quit coming at Phaedra because I know that's a character and I know she probably a great woman, but that character she played. Portia, I don't know who nominated you as the baddest bitch because you drugged somebody and because you straddled Cynthia. But somebody go out to give you one of them good old ass whoopings, Portia, because y'all see you go for bad. One of them, Kenya, redeem yourself. Reach over there and grab that bitch and stomp that trick. Stomp that trick. Stomp that trick. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just as <laughs> gentle as they want to be, but... That motherfucking Portia, bitch, you think you going for bad. I don't know. You about it, about it. We need to grab that hoe and drag her ass. Somebody whoop that ass. Sheree. Sheree. Holler at Portia, okay? But, y'all, I seen the previews. They're like, Nene gonna handle Portia motherfucking ass. Because Portia, 
That bitch over there barking like nothing going on. But I see when Candy went in on that ass, I seen Portia got quiet. Yeah, y'all the Candy called it click. And then when uh, Candy got to talking, they didn't like that scandy Candy. Candy didn't like she might check y'all ass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do all that laughing this time, but uh, let me see what else took place. Um, I give Andy the Shady Award for this episode of the reunion. The reunion was kind of boring. Look like part two is going to be better than part one because we really didn't accomplish anything. They brought Todd over and Ace. The baby got his own Instagram and he got a hundred thousand followers. And Cynthia actually, that motherfucker got a big head. Shady Cynthia. <laughs> she said, cause all we seen was his head. But as of now, they've showed his face. And yeah, that motherfucker do got a big head, Todd said. You know, I ain't talking about your body baby, but Todd said the baby got a big head. He said, yeah, my baby got a big head. And what? <laughs> and um, they spoke about uh, Todd getting paid. The rest of the money, he finally got paid. As Kenya said, right before the motherfucking reunion, catch that <laughs> shade. But these bitches are shady as fuck, and they all basically said Kim was not a fit for this motherfucking cast. Kim, girl, you, but you was motherfucking getting Kenya ass together in a very nice way, cause you was checking her ass. I gotta give you your brownie points, you know, on a scale of one to ten. Kim, I think you came up to about a seven, you know, because we had you down at about a five. But we got you about at a seven. And all the girls basically say you're not a fit for the cast. So will you be returning, Kim? Will you? We don't know, y'all. Sheree coming for that peach. Sheree won't her motherfucking peach. Andy, you got your peach tonight. But you better get Sheree back her peach next week or the week after. Whenever this shit over. I'm just saying. Portia, you don't have a storyline. You need to go. Phaedra, if you don't bring something different than Apollo and them kids in the penitentiary and um, fighting with Candy and her husband, I wonder is that a storyline? Y'all do y'all think they plotted up a storyline so Phaedra could stay on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Because other than that, she ain't got shit to talk about. For the bitch to have six careers and uh, ten jobs, I ain't never seen her doing nothing but fight with motherfuckers or shading bitches off in her confessions. Not to their faces, okay? I'm just saying. Portia is the hood booger of the motherfucking season. She's the hood rat. She's the ghetto fabulous one. Yeah, she's pretty. She's fine. She's cute. But, bitch, if you don't know whether you married, single, or widow, uh, uh, divorced, something wrong with you. We need you to have a seat in the fuck section, Portia. While you're taking up for everybody else, you need to start speaking up for yourself, okay? <laughs> Let me see, y'all, what else went on? Basically, that's it. Kenya fighting with Kim. This was the first fucking uh, reunion. Kenya and Kim. Kenya and Kim. Yes, that bitch did own you when she said, I am Kim Fields. Give her her mother if I can... Give her her motherfucking accolades. She's earned it. Kenya, yes, you may be established. You may have been U.S. America, USA, whatever the fuck you was. But Kim Fields has earned her status in life. Let her be. Let her be. Let her go on dancing with the stars and get the fuck on off of the housewives of Atlanta because she does not belong there. Anybody who's scared to check a bitch or drag a hoe, you don't need to be on 1-800-A-House-Motherfucking-Hoes-Of-Atlanta, okay? Y'all, basically, that's all that happened. This motherfucking episode, part two, that like it's going to come a little bit more shadier and better. And uh, everybody tried to say Candy a bully. I don't see Candy as a bully. Candy just a motherfucker that ain't having it. And y'all better not talk about Todd. <laughs> she can talk about y'all, motherfucker. Well, Candy don't really talk. I don't know, y'all. The jury out. Candy just look like she a dragon bitch, and I ain't mad. And I need Candy to go over there and grab Phaedra by her motherfucking hand and pull that hoe across the stage. Because, Phaedra, you deserve an ass whooping the way you talked about Candy motherfucking husband talking about he was digging for change in the couch. Bitch. Candy good. Because I think she 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 spared your motherfucking ass because, bitch, I would have owned you on that one. Bitch. Giving my husband motherfucking allowance. 
And if I did, that's my motherfucking business. Bitch, what? Don't be mad because yours motherfucker somewhere tooting it up in the motherfucking jail cell or hitting somebody. I don't know what the fuck he may be doing, but don't be mad at nobody else, Phaedra. You knew when you married that motherfucker, when you was fucking him, having him conjugal visits before he got the fuck out of the penitentiary, you knew his motherfucking ass wasn't up to no goddamn good. So you knew that moving forward, that motherfucker was going to have ex felon on his record or whatever, whatnot. He wasn't going to be able to get no goddamn job. Nine times out of ten, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of them revert back to their old ways, okay? Let's just go ahead and read these hoes while I'm at it, okay? Candy, you sat back the whole motherfucking season like this. Red right back in your goddamn seat, bitch. You earned almost a half a million or a milli to do nothing. Bitch, we need you to do better next motherfucking season, okay? Just because you candy beerus and you looking like you just came from escape because you had that baby and breastfeeding and got your motherfucking waist snatched or a tummy tuck or two, bitch. That don't mean you good because you ain't. They need to recast your motherfucking ass too. And uh, Kenya, I'm going to have to come for you, bitch. Go get pregnant by Matt and have a seat in the fuck section. I love you, Kenya, but you jealous of Kim motherfucking feels. You're jealous, boo. Let it go. Let it go, Portia. Portia. I need you to start over from pre-K, bitch, and get you some motherfucking education, okay? It ain't good what's going on with you, Portia. You might be cute, and I hope when you go on set Celebrity Apprentice, you're able to prove us wrong. You did graduate from motherfucking high school. Because right about now, bitch, I think you stuck somewhere in between 7th and 8th grade. Your ass didn't graduate. You got you a GED. Cynthia, sounds like you and Peter ain't together. But you know what? Hey, ain't, no, ain't nobody to judge. Because I got some exes up under my motherfucking sleeve, too. If it ain't going to work. If, if, if it don't fit, bitch, you must have quit. In other words, if it ain't working out, get rid of uh, uncle, whatever the fuck they call his ass, Peter Brown, Peter Smith, Uncle Smurf, whoever the fuck they call him, get rid of his motherfucking ass, and, uh, move forward, and, uh, get you some motherfucking guts, bitch, quit being so motherfucking scary, and stand up to bitches, okay, you stood up to Kenya, why you can't stand up to nobody else, Cynthia, I'm side-eyeing your motherfucking ass, okay, bitch, bitch, who left Kim? Go dance with the stars. Get Chris, Chrissy, and get the fuck on. You don't belong on the motherfucking housewives, bitch. It ain't for you, okay? Sure right. Huh, what's cracking, boo? Who gonna check me, boo, bitch? I'm gonna check you. I need for you to get a real motherfucking storyline, Sure. You been in everybody's business. Making sure you run back, tell this, tell that, tell every motherfucking thing. I need for you, when they give you your peach back, bitch, to get you a storyline, because you ain't got now neither. <laughs> you messy motherfucking boots this goddamn season. Who left? Did I miss out on anybody? Nene ain't got to your ass yet, because you ain't showed up. But I'm ready to check your motherfucking ass, too. <laughs> okay? But, uh, yeah, that's basically what happened on the... Um, first motherfucking show for the housewives of atlanta and uh i can't wait to next motherfucking week because this week was really boring so i just kind of made up some shit to give y'all <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video have a lucky motherfucking day <laughs> please like comment and subscribe follow me on twitter tiki underscore 44 facebook tiki hickman I'm on the gram, Tiki44. Y'all holla at a player. Holla, holla, holla. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Good night.